when the crowd roars and the play, you know, sweeps down the sidelines. You don't realise the pace of the game. It's exciting. Our job is to take the viewers, sit them right here and give them the most exciting experience we can. The planning for today actually started at least 12 months ago because we are doing development work, so we're bringing through the next generation of young cameramen. So every Wednesday at 1 o'clock, I'd ring George Smith, say, G'day, George, any jobs going? And every, every Wednesday, i go, Righto, Marty, thanks for that, I'll keep you in mind. So eventually, he caved, and here I am. This is how I learnt the craft, was from guys like him, watching what they do. By the time we get to a test match like this, it should be a well-oiled machine. George Smith's role in the equation is to keep producers on their toes. I'm there to do a job. You have to be just maybe slightly prickly sometimes just to get what you want. Everything will be all right because George will be there to remind you of everything that you've forgotten. George knows everyone. Like, you can't walk around the ground without him stopping to talk to everyone. When the teams run out and then you have the national anthem and then you have the haka, that's when you sort of like, there's that little tingle in the spine. Here we go. If you go back to those beautiful moments in our game, uh, the most emotional of the moments, the common denominator behind grabbing all of those shots is somebody who's got the vision and the confidence to get that as the shot that defines the moment. You can't blow up the handle. In any production, things are going to come up, and your job is to be as positive as possible and find solutions. It is a lottery, because you never know what's coming up next. There's a format, but you never know who they're going to talk about. Everyone has their role, their different size shots. You know, when the play breaks down, everyone's hunting for that, that player reaction. The script is always different and stimulating. We try and do our job for the viewer at home. That's what we're there for. We're there to tell that story. Frankly, we probably would be lost without George. He's just fast and he's accurate. He loves the game. He, he loves the whole thing. If you want to learn how to do camera three, watch what the man does. It's as simple as that. It's an art. Seven metres from the sideline, I've been doing it a long time. This is not a real job. <laughs> no, this is, this is fun. It is the best seat in the house.